Why strong passwords are so important? In offline world, if you want to access sensitive data, such as your bank account or medical data, for example, you have to show your ID to officials first. The ID at least has your full name and a photo. Moving your attention from offline to online world, you may think of your full name as a login and your photo as a password. So if someone looks exactly the same as you, he or she can use your documents to get access to your data. The same thing with passwords. Your login is often publicly known, but your password is the thing that keeps your account and personal data private and secure. Now imagine that 98% of people look the same. And almost everyone has the same face and the same photo in their passwords and other IDs. That is exactly what happens in the realm of digital identities – passwords. Statistics show that today an average person spends about 11 hours online per day. And most of the sites or online resources people use daily, from social networks to email, are secured using a simple password, usually too simple. Believe it or not, most people's passwords aren't very good to such an extent that when you hear someone's account was hacked, usually it means their password was simply guessed. Yes, you got it right, guessed. The list or database of 10,000 most common passwords used by Internet users can access more than 91% of all accounts out there. And this list is commonly known and available to anyone. Just Google for most common passwords list and you'll get an idea how bad the situation with passwords is. People tend to repeatedly use the same easy-to-guess passwords again and again for several services at the same time. Just ask yourself how many services you use have the same password for your account. Despite the fact that weak passwords can lead to personal data theft, the fact is that they are expected to remain as a main tool for authentication control for the foreseeable future. Yes, we today see the implementation of fingerprint scanners, iris scanners and other fancy authentication techniques, but in most cases these techniques are only an additional layer of security upon the password layer and can be overridden by simply entering your hopefully secure password. In order to make passwords stronger and increase the security of your sensitive information, Everyone entering the vast world of the Internet today must be educated as to what represents a strong password. At this point, let's go on and take a look on how can we enforce our passwords. Before you go on and enforce your passwords, let's take a look at how passwords can be hacked. Some common methods that attackers use for discovering a victim's password include Guessing the attacker attempts to log on using the user's account by simply guessing likely words such as their birth dates, children's names, their city of birth, etc. Online and offline dictionary attacks. The attacker uses an automated program that includes a database of possible passwords. The program continually attempts to log on to the desired service using a different password from the database file on each try. If the attacker has a copy of the file where the encrypted copy of user password is stored, he in this case can use a program to determine what the password is. Offline brute force attack. This is a variation of the dictionary attacks, but it is intended to determine passwords that may not be included in the text file used in those attacks. Despite a brute force attack can and sometimes is done online, uh, due to network bandwidth and latency, uh, they are often done offline using a copy of the target system's password file or database. Attacker uses an automated program that generates hashes or encrypted values for all possible passwords 
and compares them to the values in the password file. Each of these attack methods can be slowed down significantly or even fully defeated through the use of strong passwords. Therefore, whenever possible, computer users should use strong passwords for all of their computer accounts. Fortunately, it isn't that hard to create a good, strong password. So what makes a good password? It should be easy enough to remember. Most advisors recommend you that you shouldn't write the password down, but I don't agree with it. To enter your password quicker, it is in fact better to memorize it, but if you are going to use different strong passwords for every account and you don't trust password managers and you don't have a phenomenal memory, you will have to write it down. But it actually could be one of the most secure ways to save your passwords. Yes, it is not a good idea to write them in plain text. You will have to find your own way to sort of cipher or modify your passwords before you write them down, so that only you can read them and tell what account does it stand for. Use at least 10 characters. Trustway Global Security Report reveals that it takes a day to crack an 8-character password in most cases, while it takes about 591 days to crack a 10-character password. That is why it is recommended that you use passwords of at least 10 characters or more and change them regularly, at least every 2 to 5 times a year. Use a mixture of characters and cases. It is a very good idea to use a mixture of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, one or more numbers and at least one or two special characters. But to make up a truly strong password, it is not only essential to bear in mind what you've already heard, but you should also be aware of what to avoid in creating a password. You should always avoid names of any kind. These include your login name, your own or a family member's name, a pet's name, your native city name or any other name on this planet. Personal information. This includes your phone number, address, birthday, license plate number, your ATM pin or even a social security number or credit card number or anything else someone could guess or look up about you. Words contained in English dictionary or foreign language dictionary. You should never ever use ordinary words that can be found in the dictionary regardless of the language. Sequences of characters that can be found in any password dictionary. And I advise you to take a look at the list of 10,000 most common passwords dictionary. You can find it here.